As a kid growing up in Cameron Parish, we came to the beach all the time. It was it's what you did for entertainment. Coming to the beach, playing in the waves, uh, picking up shells, eating watermelon, that was all the summer for us. I got interested in shells just from that because there were so many of them and they were different and I wanted to know what they were. My campfire group took a field trip to Hackberry Island one summer and I found a particular shell I had never seen before. It's the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen and I wanted to know what it was. So I went to the library to find a book to find out what it was and it was in there. And then my parents encouraged me by uh, reaching out to a local lady who had an extensive collection and she made a small collection for me uh, of shells from around the world really uh, to help spur my interest and it just went from there. We have 26 miles of beaches here in Cameron Parish and each beach features different things. You won't find the same shells on every beach. You'll, some, this one has a lot of moon snails which I love uh, others have more of the clam type shells and it's just, it's different. You get bigger shells where there's bigger waves, so you, you got to try them all to see what you find. Personally, because I've been at it a long time, I like perfect shells with good color. For a collector, you want both. Uh, just for decorative purposes, you don't need both and there's plenty of that out here. Just, the beach is very peaceful and so anytime I was stressed, I'd come out and just listen to the waves, and it, it's calming. People come, you don't have to do anything. You know, you don't have to walk, you don't have to collect, you don't have to splash. You can just come out and sit and listen to the waves, and you feel better afterwards. A little sticky and sweaty maybe, but, but your spirit feels a whole lot better.